Anfang's Ironmongers, here to serve. against me? I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. You smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lon's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no, they were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lon. See you around. <laughs> Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. This is just the intel we need. Finally, we're getting somewhere.
Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition, is that it? <clears throat> is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Xiong Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant, but you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. So... Where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. Let's go for the kitchen at Wanmin Restaurant. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud, as my assistant, obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. Have you fetched the water? Have a look behind Wan Min Restaurant. Chef Mao is a professional chef. He must keep a store. Really got a lot going for it. Oh, Lee, you and people Chief must have NTC iron stomachs. Oh, This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. 
gently. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to... Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby... Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assist. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> Come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhang Li's probably been waiting a while.
You were just staring up at the statue. Hmm. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the Chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? I apologize, but I won't be able to come with you this time. Once you've acquired the cleansing bell, meet me at Yujing Terrace.
Things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, People said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. Once? Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person, back when I was young. He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um... We can help with chores if you have any... All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? What? There's no way Paimon would fit in there. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If... This granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us?